the hard truth about reselling. Are you guys ready for this? Story time, reseller vlog, what sold? Oh my goodness. Wait for the drama. My drama, no one else's drama, just reseller drama. Let's get started. All right, we're going into craft tote too. And I got to tell you guys something. I sold something on Poshmark and it was something that I only put on Poshmark. And sometimes when I do that, I'm bad about putting where I put it. So I'm kind of thinking, I hope it's in one of my craft totes. So as we're looking through here, I'm going to see if quite possibly... The other thing is in here, but we are looking for the Autumn Harvest. Um, it's a cross stitch kit. I think I've sold two or three of them. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to find the item and then I'm going to come back because otherwise you may be hanging with me while I look for this for like 10 minutes. Found it. Found it, found it, found it. Autumn Harvest. There it is. Sold this for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. So that's another great thing about Whatnot. Yes, Whatnot takes a long time to have a show and then it takes a long time to actually ship your items, but you don't have to list anything. Well, I mean, you can preload, but I don't usually preload. Um, there's no digging to try to find items to ship them because your items are already being presented and they're sitting right there when you're done. So those are some pluses of Whatnot. I did just do two videos one is how to sell on whatnot, and the other is how to ship on whatnot. And I know a lot of you are not interested, um, and that's completely fine. But the reason I made the video is because, or videos, is because, not because it's going to do great things for my channel, because these videos typically tank my channel, but there's so many of you out there that have been emailing me, or not me emailing, but messaging me on Messenger with questions, and I just wanted to be able to help. And it's easier for me to like learn something if I can visually see it. So I made this for you guys. So maybe down the road, if you're not interested in, in being on Whatnot Now, you might be in the future. So those videos will be available on my channel if you want to check them out. Uh, you can also get $15 to shop. If you join Whatnot, there's a link down below in the description. Uh, that is my referral link. And if you're thinking about selling on Whatnot, after you join, come back, go back down to the description and click on the link that says uh, seller referral link. And that will tell Whatnot that I referred you and hopefully it will help you get accepted quicker. That's what I've heard, but um, I've had a few people say they got accepted really, really fast. So check out that link if you're thinking about selling on Whatnot. All right, let me show you what else I sold. I did have some big money bolos for this video, so let's get started. So do you guys see that tube right there? I'm like, why is that in here? I don't remember putting it in here. I must've carried it in here. So that is the center roll of a bubble wrap thing. And those are great for tucking things into if you're going to ship. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so a lot of times bubble wrap has this down the center. Some of it doesn't, some of it does. It just depends where you get your bubble wrap. Uh, this is great for putting something that you don't want to bend in, and then you can just shove it in a poly mailer. So hang on to these. If you're throwing them away, hang on to them and use them for shipping. And again, I don't know why I sat it in here. I was probably multitasking and then just sat it down and left it. Sort of like the lonely hanger that is still sitting on my floor. This next item is in tote M. And it is candles. Yes, I said candles. Two candles. I got these out of a thrift store mystery box. I sold them for $17.90 and the buyer paid shipping. And I'll pop up a screenshot of what they look like. I think they smell like pumpkin. Um, look at this guy, isn't he cool? I need to be more careful about how I just toss things in here. I'm going to have broken items. All right, here we go. Pumpkin Cupcake 2014 Limited Edition. So I sold two of those to the... It was just one. Oops, that's not it. That one's still available in my store. Well, it's a duplicate. I just got to find it. Here we go. 
gotta be here. Oh my goodness. I'll be back. Also, speaking of whatnot, I do have a show tonight at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be selling jewelry, and then tomorrow I'm going to have a pop-up show, and I'm going to be selling toys from the Goodwill Bins Lost Footage. That will be um, Monday <laughs> at, I think I have it scheduled at 10.28 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and after that, I'm going to be raiding Cat Feeling Thrifty. So be sure you're following her on Whatnot as well. And also a shout out to Cat Feeling Thrifty. Thank you for the coffee. You're so sweet. I appreciate you. All right, we are at Tote DD. I am looking for a Baby Gap teddy bear. It sold for $19.84. Look at this koala, you guys. I mean, can you even believe how cute it is? Cannot believe it hasn't sold yet. Uh, so baby gap, not probably a super high end thing, probably something you probably wouldn't even expect to sell. I'm pretty sure this is it right here. $19 and 84 cents and the buyer paid shipping with plush. Somebody is eventually going to be looking for it. So a lot of times it's long tail, but you can make really good money with plush. This came from the Goodwill bins. So this was a super unexpected bolo. Um, I looked at the back and it said Har, H-A-R. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to look this up. And I looked it up and I could not find one that was exactly like this, but I saw some really good comps. I priced it high. I actually had it on sale for $124 and somebody offered me $75. I went ahead and took it. I do believe that I probably could have held out for more because of the condition that it's in and that it is a branded brooch, but oh my goodness, $75 plus shipping on this little figural brooch, and I'll pop up a screenshot of the keywords that I used in my title. All right, we are going over to Toad 8. I got this at a thrift store for $3, and it is this Tinkerbell fairy scrapbook thing. So three bucks at a thrift store. I sold it, I think for $18.59. I'll pop up a screenshot for you guys. And the buyer paid shipping. Cute little set. That's what's included. And there you have it. People are starting to probably buy for Christmas, I would say. So get those new old stock or new, I guess it doesn't have to be old stock. I don't know when this is from. This is actually from looking, looking, looking. I don't see a date. Sometimes you can find a date, but anyway, I'm guessing it's new old stock. Discontinued, retired, however you want to word it. So those are also good keywords if you have extra space. If something is retired, no longer available, you could put retired in the title. New old stock is NOS. Some people say to use it. Some people say not to use it. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. All right, I got some items going out on Poshmark. This actually sold for $13 on Poshmark. Kind of a different item. Maybe something you wouldn't expect to see sell on Poshmark. And I sold this again for $13 and the buyer paid the shipping through Poshmark. And I got this at a garage sale for $1. $1. So it is this... Uh, Yamazaki Japan fork and serving spoon. So they're pretty big. So yeah, sold those on Poshmark. You can sell anything on Poshmark. Okay, maybe not anything, but a lot of things. <laughs> there are some restrictions. So I'm just saying it's not just clothes. It's not just clothes, guys. You have a referral link down below if you guys want to join Poshmark. You can get $10 to shop. Also, for Mercari down below, you can get $10 to shop when you use my referral link to join and another $20 when you sell $100 worth of stuff. So those links are down below. Get those items on other platforms. It's extra money. Some things sell faster on other platforms. They just do. <laughs> Spoon and fork. All right, the next item I also sold on Poshmark. It is a big money bolo and it is in tote E. And you guys, I'm really, really freaking out about those letters because this is all kids clothes, other miscellaneous stuff. I don't know where the letters are. So I'm just gonna have to open up these totes. I cannot believe that I did not put where I put them. 
you know what? I think I listed some fabric around the same time. So I'm going to go check by the fabric. Wonder if I put the letters, the wood letters with the fabric. Oh, do you guys ever do that? Like I forgot to inventory it and I don't know where I put it and it sold on Poshmark. Okay. So what am I looking for? Oh yeah. So I am looking for a pair of glasses that I picked up at the Goodwill bins. And I sold these on Poshmark for $70 and the buyer paid shipping. Now I can't remember if I sent out an offer or not. I may have sent out an offer. I think my earnings on it was 50 some, 50 some dollars. So maybe I sent out an offer. I can't remember. I can maybe pop up the details in the screenshot for you guys. Let me see if I can find them. Three spoons. I just sold a spoon. Somebody needs to buy that spoon. All right. Okay. I'm going to look for it. I'll be back. Bottom of the tote. <laughs> of course, always at the bottom. Um, there you have it. All right. All right. I think this is all blankets and fabric and different things like that. A lot of these are like... Uh, those older blankets. I've got some quilts in here. Some yarn. I'm not seeing any letters. Am I going to strike out? Oh my goodness, you guys. How long am I going to be looking for these letters? How long? Oh. <laughs> I'm so mad at myself right now. I am so mad at myself right now. Could it be in here? Oh, please, please, please. Is this it? No, it's a blanket. Shuckers. There's some fabric. Fabric. Oh, I did not put it with the fabric. All right, guys. Now I have to put on my thinking cap and try to figure out where on earth I put these letters. So when you can't find something, you got to look for it. I have just looked through. Let me show you. All of these totes, all of these totes I have looked through. And guess what? The letters are not in these totes. So we're going to go into another tote room and start there because I'm going to find these letters. So we're in the other tote room. So I'm going to look through all of these totes. Some of them are clothing, so I won't have to look in those, but I am going to find these letters because I don't want to cancel an order. All right. So I'll let you know here soon. I'll have an update. I hope. <laughs> Guess what? It is not in this room, not in these totes. I have no idea where it is. It has to be like one of those places where I'm like, you're not going to forget where this is. And that's why I didn't put it in there. And now I have forgotten. So I'm going to go look in some, a few more places where it might be. And then I just may be out of luck. And you know what that means? That means I'm going to have to cancel the order, which is not a good thing. So I just went and looked in that other room and I came back to this room and I checked the tote that I have all the yarn in again. And then I was like, you know what? There was this little section over here. I don't think I checked in a couple of those totes. Guess what I'm looking at? I'm looking at tote 46. So there was this little section right here, 46, 39, 35. I checked those two, I checked all those, but for some reason I missed these three. Wouldn't you know it, here they are. Hey, I'm not complaining. I don't have to cancel an order. I am so happy, I'm so happy. There's the letters. Uh, the reason I only put these on Poshmark was because they're heavy and I didn't think, I thought they would sell better on Poshmark. That's the only reason. And these right here, I also have listed on Poshmark and I did not put the tote. So the first thing I'm going to do right now is go over to Poshmark and add an inventory number to the listing. Oh my goodness. I found them guys. I found them. I almost forgot to tell you, these sold for $19 and the buyer paid shipping. You guys remember that tube? Do you remember that silverware? 
I'm gonna put that silverware in that too, but that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so this is the $75 brooch. I am gonna put this in an eBay box because if I put it in just like something small, like a padded envelope, I'm going to say maybe it's more likely to get lost than a bigger box. So I am going to put this in a box because it's a $75 item. Do you guys ever do that? Or do you take your chances with a poly mailer or a smaller box? Or what do you guys do uh, with higher dollar items? Do you sometimes put them in a bigger box just because you feel like it's a little safer and maybe won't get lost during transit. Let me know down in the comments. All right, you guys, so this is the Gap Baby Bear. You can see it has sewn eyes. A lot of times if it does not have sewn eyes, I will protect the eyes with um, bubble wrap, extra bubble wrap, but this one is good to go. I'm just gonna slide this straight into this poly mailer. I get the question all the time, how do you ship plush? That's how I do it. Cross stitch kit, I'm shipping it the same way. All right, these are the candles. I've got them bubbled up with my American Bubble Boy bubble wrap. Uh, there's a referral link down below if you wanna check that out. I'm gonna put on some I'm Recycled Packaging because I'm gonna be using a Walmart box that I have. And I'm also gonna stick on this label. I use my quarterly coupons to buy these stickers from eBay. All right, so it'll go on there like that. And then my label will go right here over the old label. And also American Bubble Boy does have free shipping and it ships direct to your door. All right, so I am gonna pay the difference in the shipping on this because I do not wanna have to try to find a box. I spent so much time trying to find those letters that I just wanna ship this quick and easy. So I bubble wrapped that up found a priority mailbox, and I'm just gonna eat the difference in the shipping and get this baby shipped out. So time is money, right? So I could go search for a box. I could spend probably another, I don't know, five to 10 minutes trying to figure all that out, find the perfect box for it. When I have a priority mail priority mailbox sitting right here, it's gonna cost me about $2.10 extra but I already spent probably an extra 30 minutes looking for those letters. So sometimes we just have to make choices of what is our time worth. And in this scenario, I just wanna be done shipping. So I'm gonna use the priority mailbox. All right, let me know if there's any situation that you've been in where you have done something like that just to save time. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you tonight at my whatnot show at 9, 18 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm gonna be selling jewelry and then tomorrow morning at 10, 28 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'm gonna be selling toys on whatnot. Grab that referral link down below, get your $15 to shop and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.